Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play SAS4 Zombie Assault Beta. Now, I said that in between the episodes I was going to level up my level 2 assault person, but I kind of didn't because <laughs> I just kind of forgot and busy and stuff. So what I'm going to do is just keep playing as my level 4 medic and I'm going to go back to single player and uh, try the mission, uh, this one. Uh, the virus has spread to heavily populated artists. We've had communication from some panicked locals who have barricaded themselves in. They won't last long without you. Either way, you cannot leave a single zombie alive in your area. So, what I'm assuming I've got to do is try to save as many people as well as kill as many zombies as I can. Um, not sure how great I'm going to do with this, considering how terrible I did the last time. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm necessarily going to fail the level, but I'm definitely not going to do the best. Um, and uh, some of you gave me a little bit of advice on like which weapons I should use, and I kind of already sort of forgot what <laughs> your advice was. It was uh, like HMV is bad, and pistols are usually bad, I guess. Um, so I'll try to avoid that. But um, also, you said movement speed would be helpful rather than reload speed, which I can understand. Um, so let's see, I'm just supposed to stand in front of this door. Um, and uh, why am I. Oh, I don't have any ammo for that. I, I thought like my ammo would recharge or something and ah, no, I should have uh, paid more attention to that. Um, so okay, a couple of the survivors got uh, killed <laughs> because I wasn't paying attention. Um, and uh, that is a lot of zombies uh, that I don't think my pistol can take care of very well. So those uh, survivors are going to be killed if there are any in there. There are not, apparently. So. That's kind of a good thing, I guess. <laughs> there was no survivors. Um, okay, I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> which is something I should probably, uh, well, I don't really need to mention because you can probably already tell uh, without me saying anything. Um, yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing. And whenever I'm doing commentary for this game, I always feel like I should be explaining stuff and be like, yeah, then you should do this and you should go here and do that thing, but uh, I really don't know. Like, it's weird. I've never really played a game like this on my other channel, where I ah dang, um, so many zombies. I definitely need a better weapon and better um, offensive capabilities in order to do this mission well. And uh, why is that guy? Uh, why is he? Why is he like got an aura around him? Some kind of defensive measure, I guess. But um, anyways. I definitely need more attack power, and gosh, there's a bunch of zombies in there. Um, apparently, I was out of ammo for that other for my other guns, which I I figured they would reload after each level or something, like a uh, refill ammo. But I guess there's no one in here. Um, all right, so also apparently there's uh, zombies that are just going through, and oh wow, that's just a big group of zombies, <laughs> so many. But um. Anyways, yeah, so I do enjoy playing the game, I suppose. It's just the whole commentary thing that I'm sort of worried about. That my commentary is just going to grow stale because I don't know what I'm saying and don't know what's going on and everything. And uh, definitely a lot more civilians have been killed than rescued. Um, I've only rescued three of them, and I've already lost 23. There's 34 still remaining, but. Considering how long it takes for me to kill all these zombies, I think that's really my main problem. I don't have enough power to kill all the zombies and just move on uh, and save some civilians. Um, I'm actually taking quite a bit of damage, uh, which I think was the problem last time. It actually died because I didn't um, didn't use my healing and all that. Didn't avoid the zombies fast enough. But um, anyways, uh, so there's that thing. Um, yeah, <laughs> my whole problem is that I can't kill the zombies fast enough to make enough ground to uh, save anyone because I don't know where exactly all the zombies or all the civilians are. And uh, as soon as I get near the door, just a horde of zombies pour in, and there's just nothing I can do because then they break in and kill all the survivors while I'm just stuck trying to survive. So I mean, what? <laughs> I can't even do this. I need to spend more time off screen. Uh, leveling up my character to get better weapons and better skill points and everything. And I think the main problem is that whenever I 
uh, whenever the zombies break in and get the survivors, then they become more zombies. And then that's just more time that I spend killing zombies rather than rescuing survivors. Um, so I guess that's my main problem. Although I feel like I'm trying to explain like, yeah, see you guys, you shouldn't do that when it's just me. Like, it, it's just me. Uh, I'm the one making the mistake, not you guys. Um, but yeah, so everyone's dead in there. So uh, let's see if I can uh, open this door before... Nope! Bunch of zombies all over the place. I am dead. I am so dead. Oh man, uh, I should... Um, oops, I should have turned around and sent out that med kit um, before all these zombies break through. Oh hey, I might actually... Uh, nope, nope, I'm dead. Okay, nope, I'm in the corner. And I'm dead. Okay, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's, that's basically what this is going to be <laughs> of me. Um, let's see. Uh, get this. Uh, this one's already there. Um, how much money do I have? 5,000. So I can get quite a bit of ammo for this. I can get 2,000 ammo just to be safe. I'm going to try this again. It'll probably be a long episode, but... I don't care. I'm going to use my machine gun. 2,000 ammo. Sounds like it's enough, and it's high damage ammo, so hopefully that should be good, but uh, I don't actually know. This this could still be a terrible idea. I, I have no idea, but um, but yeah, that's that's basically my thoughts on this game. I'm, I'm bad at it, <laughs> and I don't know what I'm doing, so my commentary is going to suffer, um, but again, I do still enjoy playing it, so I don't mind necessarily playing it uh, if you want me to. You might want to give me stuff to talk about um, <laughs> to help me with my commentary, but um, aside from that, if you guys are still enjoying me playing it and watching me play it and everything, even though I've got terrible commentary and all that, um, then uh, yeah, by all means, just let me know um, that you're okay with my commentary, basically. And I think, or I hope, that um, after I've let them go and after they're running away, like rescued them or whatever, um, I'm hoping that means that they're like invincible while they're running away, I guess. I'm not really sure. Um, just if uh, after I've saved them, I don't need to keep protecting them as they run away. Because uh, that'd be really helpful. Uh, so let's see if I can open through here. Um, Alright, good. And there's actually survivors. Uh, not just a bunch of zombies. Uh, like that other time. So, I see a red... Uh, thing to say that the zombies over here so trying to focus my firepower on the zombies that are actually um, they're actually near the doors but let's see this actually this feels like it's going a lot better than last time much better because I'm actually killing the zombies before they get in the house uh, which is very useful um, I just kill that zombie and is that gonna attract a bunch nope all right I'm trying to focus on the zombies that are actually already on the screen rather than uh, focus on the doors necessarily, which may not be a great idea. Um, let's see, kill those zombies that are actually by the doors um, because I don't want them to break through the doors. I want to just kill them while the survivors are all safe. I don't know if there's any zombies that are like off screen that are already breaking through doors or something. Like, hopefully, they're not. Um, eh, those little larva things. Um, and, God, there's still another one. <laughs> um, I am really spending this ammo. <laughs> uh, I mean, I've only spent about 500, and oh boy, there's a bunch of zombies. But um, I've only spent about 500, but I've probably wasted at least like 200 of that. Um, so let's see if I can just break through here. Alright, just some money and some health, which is actually pretty good. I was actually running a bit low on health. Um, but uh, like I said already, I hope. There's no zombies that are breaking into doors that I'm not aware of. Um, here's uh, some zombies. Maybe another horde, basically. Um, ah, spit stuff. Um, Alright, that, that worked out much nicer than usual. And again, my commentary is just uh, out the window. And of course a bunch more zombies. <laughs> oh boy. Um, let me know what you guys think about the series. Uh, I know that uh, initially, you guys were really positive and like, yeah, you should totally do like 100 episodes of this. And uh, sure, if you guys really want me to, but um, taking into consideration how my commentary has been uh, in these past couple episodes, um, maybe that might sway your opinion a little bit. 
um, but hopefully not. Um, preferably not, I suppose, but uh, if you guys really do want me to uh, step up my commentary or stop- No! Kill the zombies! Uh, no, I lost some. I only lost two, but still this- Uh-oh. I think they just broke into the bottom, uh, bottom side, but okay, there was just a bunch of zombies in there anyways. So, <laughs> yay zombies! But, um, anyways, uh, what am I saying? Uh, one thing I should mention is that I should be posting, uh, the start of a new series today. Uh, first episode of a new series. Um, I mentioned it in my Bloom Starter Control Deluxe Edition video, so if you watch that one, um, then you'd already know. And it should only go up, uh, or should go up about 30 minutes after this one, so there's probably not a lot of you that watch this, uh, within the 30 minutes between the episodes, so you'll probably already see it on my channel or whatever. Uh, but I still have to up or still have to record it, so you know. Anyways, um, just uh, oh yeah, I should probably mention on this video as well. Um, what do you guys think about my upload schedule for this series in particular? Um, I kind of meant to do um, uh, every day. I, I meant to upload um, on Saturday and Sunday as well, but I was really busy. But not really busy, but I I was distracted basically um, and didn't. Um, uh, that's close, but um, didn't uh, get to upload or record or anything uh, for Saturday and Sunday. Um, it was actually really close. I wasn't actually sure if I was going to be able to upload uh, for Bloom Sutherland's 5 Deluxe Edition uh, either. But um, what do you guys think for my current upload schedule for uh, this game? Should I post Saturday and Sunday as well? Are you okay with just Monday through Friday? Uh, any suggestions on like if I do multiplayer on the weekends and single player during the week or something like that? Anything like that uh, would be helpful. Just your suggestions on my general, n not know-how, but um, my general schedule or whatever. But uh, anyways, uh, oh boy, a whole bunch of zombies. Um, and again, I I'm actually doing much better with this weapon, uh, with the um, high damage ammo and all that. And uh, see if I can kill this zombie before he breaks in. There we go. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Apparently the ammo makes a huge difference, uh, and the gun, obviously, because using a pistol uh, as compared to a machine gun with high damage rifle or high, high damage ammo uh, obviously makes a big difference. And I never really spent any money on anything else, so I had a bunch of money for ammo, and I still have a bunch of money comparatively. Um, so, like I said, I'm doing much better. Getting uh, 48 rescued already, only 10 more, and only two lost. So there was 60 total, I think. I does if I did my math right. Um, oh boy, big bunch of zombies. And uh, I also could have uh, thrown some grenades by now, uh, which I think I will right now, um, just because there's a lot of zombies right there. And uh, just get that one, and I'm good. All right, nice. <laughs> it's a very chill episode, I guess. <laughs> very chill series in general, I suppose. But um, all right. So what are these? Um, oh. Frag grenades and cryo grenades, but uh, I wish I could have saved those two that got killed, uh, so that I could get a perfect round so far, or uh, almost perfect round. And I think just these five more, and then that'll be it. Yeah. So um, clear the remaining infected. Head to the evac zone. Uh, yeah, that was the last building. Clear the area the remaining infected. I think I already did, uh, unless there's somewhere else. Um, oh boy, that doesn't sound good. Um, Okay, I thought that was going to be like one big zombie, not, uh, oh, that's one big zombie <laughs> that I have to deal with. I probably should have bought some ammo for my sniper as well, rather than just for my machine gun, but, um, yeah, it shouldn't be a too big of a problem. I mean, it's a pretty big problem, but, you know what I mean, but, um, yeah, I'll be fine. Just one big, slow dude, not like a whole bunch of fast people or something. Um, so, yeah, where am I, or why am I, oh! That uh, was some kind of earthquake thingy that kept me in here. Uh, <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, let's see, just back up. Uh, then throw out a med kit, and uh, might as well throw in a grenade, even though that totally did nothing. Um, did I kill it? Yeah, I think I killed it already. There you go. Easy as cake, cakewalk thing. Give me a med kit, even though I think that was the end of the level anyways. But um, oops, I didn't mean to, um, didn't mean to switch weapons. And, uh, so yeah, I only lost two, which is sad, but it's pretty good. Um, I kind of wanted to just start firing off, um, my, uh, machine gun. But, um, anyways, can I go over here? I can go over here. Oh, look, 
uh, health. That's nice. But, um, first aid medic level 5. You earned one still point, one strong box plus 100 HP. Uh, click to open. What is in here? It's a helmet. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll upgrade, or not upgrade, uh, equip that. And, uh, titanium strong box. I've got boots. Um, yeah, I'll definitely use the combat boots because they have uh, increased movement speed. Um, and a new gun. Uh, this is the new one? Yeah, that's the new one. Um, same as the others, but it's got an empty slot for something. And has extra pierce, apparently. So, that's interesting. Um, probably might sell that, but, uh, what should we do? Blah, 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 new. Uh, weapons, just showing off the new one. Uh, armor. Uh, helmet. I'm gonna equip the helmet. And then new boots. I'm gonna equip the boots. And then skills. Uh, instead of fast reload, I'm going to do, uh, fast movement. It's probably a better idea. I was gonna do the, um, not protective or, uh, toughness? No. Um, huh. That's interesting. I just realized the skills are different for, um, different classes. But, uh, anyways, that's gonna be it for that one, I suppose. Um, yeah. Alright. So, <laughs> that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.